Okay, sorry about the longer video than I expected, but uh, I wanted to explain why the two parts. Uh, so, uh, as the big box, as you can see in the layout here, it's separate on two different ver uh, uh, sections. Uh, one of the reasons that I did that is that I was trying to find a way. Um, uh, so initially what I wanted to do is have a backup because this, this will be kind of a repeater-ish box that you can leave behind uh, I didn't want it to be too expensive so this uh, has all this thing and you can see in the past uh, the videos of what I was looking for for this buck I wanted to have multifunction this is why I went with the um, uh, Raspberry Pi so that it doesn't cost as much and stuff this one obviously will be a little bit more expensive for me because I had the tablet but not that much because the phone was $50 tablet is about $70 that I got, got a deal on it so not that much but it gives me a lot of, of opportunity and stuff um, so as you can see over here on the picture there's like two different zones uh, one has a system that uh, will work on 9 volts and the other one will work on 6 volts so why the two different uh, sections the um, on the uh, 6 volt uh, section I got a little device uh, and I'll uh, put the link down from Adafruit that I bought. So what this device do is that, uh, so the Raspberry Pi is very sensitive to how much energy that you have. And so when you use it, especially with solar system or things like that, you have to be very careful about what you do or else you can blow up the, uh, the Raspberry Pi or burn it and everything. So this is a security device that won't go above a certain uh, limit of uh, mini votes that it has and as it works as well like a CPU so as the energy goes in there's a battery backup and so what it'll do is that if there's no electricity going through it it will uh, use the electricity from the battery if the battery is discharged then they'll use the electricity coming uh, from the other side so what I was going to do is bring the 6 volt uh, panel to that device through a, another uh, device that I have uh, which is, is a solar panel um, and which I use so the whole six volts will kind of works the same way on the mini box and so basically my box has like two box there's the nine volts added to it in a certain way uh, and instead of a phone it's it's the tablet and so with the six volt the six volt will go through solar panels and that will uh, redirect the energy and stuff. I tr um, and the um, other fruits, the, they're all made for things like Raspberry Pi and things like that. So you cannot put different, because uh, when I try initially, with my first initial idea was to use different battery, but it's very it's limited in the um, the uh, the chemistry of the batteries that you can use. So you can only use those uh, batteries that you find like in phones and uh, with Raspberry Pi that works, which works good for the projects that I want to do. Is just that I couldn't charge uh, the other part that I wanted to do was which part uh, charge uh, the radio. So in the smaller box, I won't be able to do that. Um, uh, I'll actually I'll be able, but in a different way. So I'll, I'll talk about that. Uh, and I, I may try because I'm probably going to lose too much energy, uh, but I may try it anyway. Uh, so what I'll do is that the, so the, so the, the panel is a 6-volt panel. So that's the panel that you see on the top there. And then it goes down to this uh, little device. And so this device can charge phone because phone takes uh, 3 to 5 volt uh, to charge. And so that means it can charge the phone and also it works with my tablet. I tried it. Um, and so that then the battery that is on the side uh, will be as a backup too. So it charged the battery. And then the, uh, the other uh, device as well will be charging the, um, uh, the Raspberry Pi. And then it has a, a cut uh, limit to it so that when, the, when it feels it shuts down the Raspberry Pi so it protects it for overcharging in and things like that. Uh, the other advantage of, and the beauty with this is that now this system can be plugged into the wall um, and you can charge it just like you charge your regular phone and it charge all the system and so basically now that means that box can be recharged 
uh, if you have like current or if you have access to an outlet, so you can charge that. Uh, you can charge the whole system, so the phone and everything and stuff through that device. And then the solar panel. So the solar panel, I didn't try it yet, but I tried it through the outlets on the wall and everything worked uh, perfectly. Uh, so now I just have to uh, get my uh, Raspberry Pi and plug it in. It's just, uh, I need to make, because uh, the Raspberry Pi use little uh, cables like this. And so I just have to do the the final touch on that and, and uh, tie it uh, properly. Uh, so uh, when that do, does, then I'll be able to plug it and see if everything works. And and uh, also it, it um, I, like I said, when it go below a certain amount of, of volts, which the Raspberry Pi doesn't work very well and it's very sensitive, it shuts down the Raspberry Pi. So it's a, it's a protection for for that. And again, above volt as well, it won't go and it will shut down everything. So it's a safety mechanics for that. Um, so that's the whole thing. So it will charge tablet, phone, uh, and uh, the, an extra battery, which will be the backup for the whole system. So if I don't have enough sun, um, that battery will be uh, the things that kind of runs uh, the system. Plus the battery of the phone obviously will be charged as well. So the phone will be able to work without taking that. Um, and then the Raspberry Pi will work out of all that system. So it's a great system for that. Uh, then on the other side, uh, so the problem that I had with the 6 volt was either I could uh, bring it because uh, uh, usually a lot of the radios they charge around uh, 9 volt. Uh, so um, and um, so what I wanted to do was to bring 9 volts. So either I was able uh, would be able to bring 6, but because you bring 6 volts on it, you I would be able to upgrade 6 volts with a DC to DC converter but the problem with this is that you lose a lot of efficiency and then those little panels they're not made for that like the mini volts of it and the, uh, the power that you get from there are very small because really what they're made for is to um, supply a, um, a Raspberry Pi so what I thought because my box was longer was to put a 9 volt uh, so now I have the 6 volt panel uh, charging one side of the system then I add a 9 volt system now what I can do uh, through a uh, um, the big box which I had from another project what I'll be able to do is charge the the rack of um, AA batteries and so then I'll put 9 volts of AA batteries on that and then I'll be able to plug it in straight to um, a connector and um, also I'll probably put a switch and charge the radio which is uh, what you see on there so uh, the charge controller will have the solar panel going into it then the battery which is the battery pack and then the load will be my uh, uh, my device which is the radio uh, so the reason that I had it is this way is that it gives me two things. One, it gives me a rack of double A's batteries, and yes, I know you're not supposed to use them if because it's mixed and stuff and stuff, and um, you mix batteries and stuff. But don't forget that this is for emergency only. I won't use it all the time, like taking uh, taking the batteries off and everything. But now I have nine volts of batteries that I can charge and that I could use for different device if I need to and I can charge a phone uh, um, uh, uh, a radio outside with the same box so that, that means that now I can put a radio, a radio uh, leave that box on and so the, over there it's the barrel fang so I can leave my box with the barrel fang charge radios if I need um, for whatever reason uh, different radios and stuff um, plus wh whatever the Raspberry Pi can do and the system and we'll talk a little bit more about the Raspberry Pi the good idea the, the ideas that I've been reading and stuff and so I can use it as a repeater I can use it as a uh, digital repeater I can use it for a whole bunch of stuff uh, that we'll be talking about but now I can use this whole system and everything is solar cap cap capable and then when the sun goes down both of them have batteries to back up their batteries uh, to hold enough until the sun can comes back and recharge the whole system 
Uh, it's very portable. It's very lightweight because uh, with uh, AA batteries, it's not that big. And now also, I have this whole rack of AA's batteries. So if I have other devices that I can use, um, if need be, I could use those AA's batteries for other stuff. So again, multifunction in a, in a system that, that it works uh, with this. Uh, so I was going to buy um, a, eight, a brand new 8-pack of Eneloops. I put that on there. And so then now I have my 9-volt-ish. Uh, um, I'll have to do the calculation. I may have to do 10 because it's 1.2. So I may have to add a little bit more. So I'll, that's that's what playing with it. And this has a 10, 10 uh, slide to it. So I probably may have to put uh, two. And, and play a little bit with that 9 volt ish and see if it works with the radios without burning them and all that stuff. So um, that's the system and this is why it'll be two panels. Uh, so on the smaller uh, box, so the little brothers of that uh, multi-communication will be only the 6 volt system and there'll be a different uh, panel but everything will be smaller like the, the um, the one that you see over here, that's the Raspberry Pi 2B, I think, or something like that. And the other one will be the Nano um, new one. That is, uh, so, so it'll be way smaller. So that's why I can go with a smaller box, which is what I want to achieve with um, with that. But um, yeah, so that's the system that um, I plan to do like in, in two different flavors. One for the giveaway, which will be like a small compact box, which will have everything like the phone. And so if the phone is about that line, um, my hope is that the two systems with the two little add the fruit system will be about in the same enclosure that about the length of the phone. Uh, so that's how small it is. And with the panel on the top, I should really fits in about that same things the other system with the nine volts and everything we'll see how everything works and if that uh, 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 battery works and and it produced the nine volts like I want to and and it's exactly what will be good for the radios and make sure that it doesn't burn the radios and all that um, so uh, I'll be able to work on that and see how much uh, output there is outside with the nine volts I'm still waiting for the nine volt uh, panel so uh, that's why I cannot experiment yet uh, but then I'll do all my stuff and I'll come back with an update but um, that was the video um, on the box and if you have any suggestions ideas and comments leave that behind and below and I'll talk to you soon